As you all know, the United States Army requires all soldiers, regardless of rank, to live our Army values 24-7 in all operational environments. In this regard, we are launching a new initiative, the SHARP program, to bring positive change to our ranks. SHARP is our sexual harassment and assault response and prevention program, a critical effort to end such abusive and unwarranted behavior in our ranks. As a band of brothers and sisters and members of the Army family, we must live by the golden rule. It is imperative that we treat each other with dignity and respect at all times, whether it be in public or private. Interpersonal sexual violence is too common in our society for both women and men. The Army is not immune from this problem. These are our fellow soldiers. I expect leaders at all levels to fully embrace the SHARP initiative and help eradicate sexual assaults and harassment in our formations. One of the key tenets of the SHARP program is that it reaches soldiers at all phases of their Army careers. The first piece is education. Beginning as early as ROTC training or before enlisted personnel arrive for basic training as new recruits. The Army will be educating men and women about sexual assault. Online programming and live presentations will challenge socially embedded misconceptions about sexual assault. We must forge a culture that has absolutely no tolerance for sexual violations. Soldiers will again receive sharp training during initial entry training at all the basic combat training and basic officer leader courses. All soldiers and civilians will receive three hours of annual unit refresher training that is designed to provide them with the tools to intervene and take action if they see something wrong and motivate others to do so in order to prevent cases of sexual harassment and sexual assault. The second piece is reinforcement. Leaders must work with soldiers to connect proper sexual conduct back to our Army values, reminding troops that we violate the sacred trust with our soldiers if we do not remain true to our moral compass. Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Soldiers know what these mean, but we must live them every day in everything we do. The final piece is resources. Senior Army officials have recrafted policy to provide the resources and support necessary to tackle this issue. This includes restricted and unrestricted reporting options for sexual assault victims and greater victim support to available advocates and sexual assault response coordinators. It also involves full investigation of alleged offenses and holding offenders accountable. The bedrock of our Army is trust. Trust between soldiers, trust between soldiers and leaders, trust between soldiers, their families, and the Army, and trust between the Army and the American people. We cannot violate this sacred trust, so preventing these actions and protecting your team members is key to creating a stronger Army for tomorrow. In terms of our values, in terms of our mission, and in terms of our resources, we must protect our Army brothers and sisters from sexual predators. Let me leave you with a few parting thoughts. Over the last 10 years, our Army has proven itself in arguably the most difficult environment this nation has ever faced. Our leaders at every level have displayed unparalleled ingenuity, flexibility, and adaptability. You are those leaders. Serve as role models within our ranks. The success of SHARP program comes down to leadership. I know each and every one of you will continue doing the right thing and contribute to the success of the program. Thank you for your continued service and leadership. The strength of our nation is our Army. The strength of our Army is our soldiers. The strength of our soldiers is our families. And that is what makes us Army strong.